any before and after pictures in your presentation? No, I don't. Okay, um, I'll I have um, two, and so oh, I'll show you, I'll show them while you're um, or whenever it, it makes sense in your presentation. But perfect. I'm so excited for this program. <laughs> I am too. I am stoked about this program. It is kind of unprecedented, which is like exactly appropriate for the time that we're in right now. And so um, I think that it goes a little bit outside the beach body norm box, which I really, really like, but it's with a trainer that we all know and most people love or at least respect. So I feel like there's that level of, this is the woman that made the 21 day fix. This is the woman that created ultimate portion fix. Like she knows her stuff. So even though this is not what we're used to, we can trust her. I like that there's that level of trust. So right here are just some things that you're going to want to take note of for your launch of the program itself. You might just want to take a screenshot of this, or I'm going to share the slides in our team page, and they are in our um, team Google Drive. So if you want to just wait and, and come back to it, you can. But this is like a really brief like cheat sheet for the program itself. November 30th is going to be a first look on Beachbody On Demand because there are, is so much different equipment in this program. They're not going to do a sample workout because we just wouldn't have what we need at home in order to do the workout. So there's gonna be what they call a first look instead. December 7th through the 20th is the coach and VIP customer launch. So that's the window of time when we can purchase and our discount coaches or VIP customers, they can purchase. December 21st is when it will officially launch to customers everywhere. January 4th is going to be our New Year kickoff boot camp, and we will have an exclusive group just for Nine Week Control Freak. Um, I'm going to just move on with our presentation because most of this is going to get touched on in the presentation. But if you forget something or you need you you know you want to have quick access to this, I would take a screenshot of this because this is exactly what I would call a cheat sheet. All right, so what is Nine Week Control Freak? I linked the little video to kind of give you a sneak peek into what the program is right here. I'll show it at the end in case people want to sign off before 9.30 or after 9.30 because I know that some of you have seen it, but I know some of you have not seen it, and I wanted to make sure that it's available because it's really, it's really cool. It just really gets you excited for the program. But essentially, the, the idea behind the program is it's time to take control. We have felt out of control of either every aspect of life or some of the most major aspects of life for way too long. And it is time for all of us to be able to get back some of that control that we love to have and we've been lacking. So with, there's new moves, there's new equipment, the results from the test group are out of this world. This is a nine week program. It's going to help you to take control of all those things that you have lost control of over the last almost 12 months, you guys. It is insane. It has been almost 12 months since we've just been almost in survival mode, right? So by focusing on what you can control, we're gonna take back some power. We're gonna take back the ability to handle all the life stuff that's still getting thrown at us, but now we're expected to handle it in a different way. Do you need to go outside football? There you go. Sorry. We're being expected to actually handle it now, not just survive it. So this is going to help us get back there. 2021 is going to be a time to embrace our inner control freak. We are going to hopefully set a precedent for 2021 by starting this program at the beginning of the year together. So to complete the program, like I mentioned before, there are some different pieces of equipment than what we're used to, or at least different pieces of equipment that we don't typically use in all of our programs or most of our programs even. <clears throat> so there's gonna be a control track with a resistance band, and this is gonna be an adjustable resistance device that attaches to our door frame and it's going, it could also be mounted to the wall. 
Um, there's going to be an installation video that we receive. There's going to be a demonstration video that we receive to make sure that we install it correctly and that it's safe to use in our home. But it's going to allow us to do a lot of back work and arm work that we can't do without a machine. And so it's allowing us to do that without a machine. Um, there's going to be a fitness step similar to the one that we used for Transform 20. So if you already have that, that's awesome. You've already got one. And it's going to help us to work every single aspect of our body. There's going to be a core ball, which is a big inflatable non-weighted ball that we're going to sit on or maneuver around <laughs> somehow or another to, again, work our core and use our body to our full potential. So no matter what we're doing, we're also working the core. And then of course, we'll have dumbbells, a light, medium, and heavy set, just like in most of our programs. So this is what's going to be coming in our nine week control freak bundle. So this, if when, we, when our customers buy the package, this is what they'll get. They're gonna get 45 unique program workouts. So this is a nine week program. If you're getting 45 workouts, that means you're working out five times a week. It's gonna be with Autumn and the cast in real time. And it, is not, it was not filmed the way um, MBF was filmed, although that was phenomenal how they were able to do that. This is actually filmed with the cast on set. Um, they did it all safely with COVID and everything, but it's gonna be five days a week for nine weeks. There are going to be controlled stretches. We're gonna do these at the end of the day on our workout days. So they're not going to be a part of our workout. They're going to be separate from it to help us reset, reframe our mind, get us like, relaxed and get our body ready for what's coming the next day. There's going to be 10 minute bonus workouts. So you may not have realized this, but some of the workouts are only 18 minutes long. So if you're someone like, I feel like I need to move my body for 30 minutes. Like if that, if my watch doesn't hit 30 minutes, I feel like I didn't do enough. So there's these 10 minute bonus workouts that you can add to any workout you want to to target a particular muscle group or just to tack on that extra time so that you hit your 30 minute goal. Um, there's also gonna be remote control workouts. So these um, kind of mimic a whole week of nine week control freak. They're meant to be done when you don't have any of your equipment with you. So if you're traveling, if you are in a camper or you're in a really small space, maybe a hotel room or something, you're going to be able to do them without your weights. So they would just use your core ball and the control track, which is going to be something that you should be able to travel with a little bit easier than dumbbells without sacrificing your results. You'll still get, you'll still do a very similar workout, but you won't be using the weights. There's also Tabata bonuses. Tabata is intense and I'm kind of excited to try it. I've only tried it once on my Peloton and it was like, I thought I was dying. Um, so I'm excited that we're doing it in this format because it's something I've never tried before. You can add one of these to a workout if you want to get some extra cardio in. Tabata is extremely high heart rate type cardio, um, like HIIT, but on steroids, I think. So let's say, for example, it's core day and you want to burn some more calories, you could throw on a Tabata bonus that day. So... <clears throat> This is kind of another cheat sheet. This is something you could send to someone who has questions about um, nine week control freak, someone who's considering whether or not they're a good candidate for the program. Um, one of the things that I think is really cool is unlike a lot of Autumn's programs, this is not for experienced exercise buffs. I mean, it, it is, but it's also for a novice. So I think that's really cool that someone who maybe isn't someone who has been working out for years or someone who's in shape already could still do this and, and do it well. Whereas like her 80 day obsession workout, I would never suggest that to someone who's just starting their journey. It's just way too intense for them. Um, so again, this just kind of walks you through everything I've already shared, but in a much cuter graphic form. So here is what nine week control freak is. Here is the equipment you'll be using. This is who it's perfect for. It's perfect for anyone who's ready to put in the time and effort that is required to take that control of your well-being. Let's just be real. At some point throughout this pandemic, we have lost grasp of either our physical health, our nutrition, our mental health, our emotional health. At some point, 
it maybe we didn't lose it forever. Maybe we were able to get it, uh, get it back under control, which is awesome. But some of us have struggled more than others. Some of us have struggled with the physical part and then we got that under control and the nutrition went to crap. So this is going to be a program for the person who's ready to say, I, I want to feel like me again. I am tired of letting this pandemic, this virus dictate how I feel. Um, so it's for anyone who wants a fast paced, effective workout. The fact that these workouts are 18 to 30 minutes just makes my heart jump for joy because that's my sweet spot for workouts. When you're asking me to get up at 5.15 in the morning, there is no way that I want to be doing 60 to 90 minute workouts at that hour. Um, it's also for anyone who wants to focus on what they can control so that they can make 2021 the best year ever. I know as soon as I can, I am going to be hashtagging sweating for the wedding because 2021 is going to be that year for me. So think about that. Like what, what did you miss out on in 2020? We all sacrificed in 2020, whether you missed a trip, you missed your family, you missed, I mean, just think of it. Think of all the things that you've missed out on. So 2021 is going to be the year. Start it on the right foot with a program like this. This program is setting you up for success. It's not asking you to do too much. It's asking you just to show up. And if you show up, you're going to get the results because it makes it super, super easy for you. Here's some important dates in case you want to take that screenshot or write them down on your calendar if you have it in front of you. Like I said before, November 30th, which is coming up fast, it's right after Thanksgiving, is when we have our first look on BOD. I don't really know what that's going to look like. I don't know if she's gonna go over some moves or just have like a sneak peek or what, but be aware that it's on there. On December 7th through the 20th is our Coach VIP launch. December 21st is our customer launch. January 4th is going to be our new challenge group specifically for nine week control freak. May 24th, it will be available to everybody on Beach Body On Demand. Not something people are going to want to wait for. So we just went over this. It's, this these are the people that it's perfect for. Um, excuse me. So you're going to get some really cool things. I think I went too far. You're going to get some really cool things in the package as well that we haven't always gotten in the past. So I just wanted to share about them a little bit. There's going to be something called the brag board. So you're actually gonna be able to record your results on this brag board and then take a picture of yourself with it if you want to and share your progress on social media. So instead of just calling it like a tracker, she's telling you to like shout yourself out, you know, Sh share your, your big wins and your small wins. Um, there's also going to be those installation videos, which I think is so amazing so that there's no chance of anybody getting injured. Um, the there is going to be the daily tracker where you fill in the details for your workout, how, what the, um, pounds of weight that you used, what resistance bands you used, um, how many rounds you were able to get done, and then your personal best for the Tabata cardio segment. So very similar to some of the ways that we've tracked things in the past, like how many reps were you able to do in the transform 20 minute and things like that. Um, there's going to be some informational videos going over who Autumn is, what the program is about. She's gonna go over the benefits of using our supplements. And also she's going to primarily focus on ultimate portion fix as nutrition. However, the program itself is going to come with access to ultimate portion fix and to be mindset, just like most of them have been in the past few months. Um, but because she created UPF, she kind of feels like UPF is, it goes along real well with this program. I'm also going to argue that it does because it allow, it gives you that external element of control and we're focusing on getting that control. And a lot of us have felt so out of control for so long that to be mindset might be a little loosey goosey for some of us right now. Um, I know it was for me. I had to get real strict with my tracking in order to get back on track. Um, then there's that control track. The control track, um, the resistance bands are going to be able to be heavier or lighter depending on what you're doing and how you're feeling and that kind of thing. And then the core ball obviously is gonna be in there as well. Um, I already mentioned that you're gonna have access to both nutrition programs, but because she created UPF, that's the one she's going to be talking about the most in her, um, in her videos and in the workouts themselves. 
This is a great little quiz. You could screenshot this and send it to your, one of your clients or a potential client. This is just a great thing for them to fill out and kind of have you help them decide which nutrition program is better for them. Um, I tend to suggest UPF for beginners, just because I think the more structured you are in the beginning, the easier it is to maintain that structure as you go um, and make sure that it becomes a lifestyle. But this is something that, you know, if someone answers mostly A's, then UPF is going to be best for them. If they answer mostly B's, then 2B Mindset's what I would suggest for them. These are the two options. This one on the left is for new customers and non beach body on demand members. So these are going to be the prices for them and what the bundles include. You're going to notice that these packages are a little higher price, but that's because they are getting so much more equipment, so much more. Every single package comes with the core ball and the band system. So you're going to want to make sure people know that. There are some really popular add-ons on the bottom, particularly the step. Um, I know when Transform 20 came out, some people opted to buy their step from other places and um, the quality wasn't as great. And they also found that it took a lot longer to get there for some reason. And with COVID right now, honestly, I would just go ahead and order everything together as a package so it all arrives together instead of trying to order from three different places. So that's one of the benefits I would talk about with people. Christy also got me thinking today. She said she ordered a three-day refresh today in our sale group. And it got me thinking, maybe I should do one of those too. And I asked her when she was going to do it. And she said sometime after Christmas, maybe the beginning of the year. So I was thinking if our challenge group starts January 4th, we could do the three-day refresh January 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Or 2nd, 3rd, and 4th and have that kind of kick off the group and, and see if anybody wanted to add on the three-day refresh to their bundle and do that along with us. So that's something to think about too. And then this, um, the option on the right is for customers that are already customers or BOD members. You'll notice that their packages are a little bit less expensive because they're not paying for their year of Beachbody On Demand. So, <clears throat> and then these, this is just a nice graphic with the popular add-ons. Bevy's become really popular. I had a ton of people texting me about it from our pre, from our Black Friday sale group. Um, the step stool is going to be a big one, and I would say the foam roller would be a good addition too. I mean, for twenty bucks, that's that's going to be a pretty good addition for most people. Um, so this is I wanted to talk a little bit about this because some people seem to get confused when we do this. So if we if we have a new client or a new customer who's considering signing up now so they can start early. These are some talking points you can share with them for the benefits of signing up as a VIP customer. Now remember, we have that option now. It's not, they don't just have to sign up as a discount coach anymore. We're not gonna call them that anymore. They are going to be VIP customers. So they're gonna get the discount. They're gonna get some perks of, of being a coach, but they're not actually going to sign up to coach because they have no interest in working the business. We will still benefit from them the same way we would if they signed up as a coach as far as like promotion goes. Um, we can still go Emerald if we sign up to VIP customers. I know we talked about that a while back, but that's something for you to be thinking about. This is a great talking point, especially because in the past it's been, no, I don't wanna sign up to be a coach. I don't want any expectations, nothing. We can take that word right out of our mouths because that's no longer what it is. Now it's a VIP customer, which we've been asking for forever. So I'm super excited that we have it now. Um, lots of benefits to that. So here's some post ideas for this program. And just for in general, I try to share these every month because I think sometimes we just, we try, we make things more difficult than they need to be. Go live. You don't even have to go live. Go in your stories and share your plan to stay healthy through the holidays. Talk about what you're doing. Maybe if you are struggling with getting on the bandwagon right now, do a couple Transform 20 videos. Talk about the fact that 20 minutes is right up your alley right now. Um, follow a meal plan and share some of the stuff that you're eating. Make sure that you're sharing the foods that you love. Make sure you share that you're drinking water along with your glass of wine or your eggnog or whatever, it, you know, whatever it is. Like you're going to have pumpkin pie. Great. 
then make sure that you share some other healthy dish you make to accompany the pumpkin pie. Share a Woman Crush Wednesday. It's been a long time since I did a Woman Crush Wednesday. That would be an amazing opportunity to highlight someone else's transformation. Um, it could be a challenger. It could be one of our teammates. It could be, it could be, the, it could be Autumn Calabrese. So it could be another person who was in the test group. And this is probably a great time for Christy to share those transformation pictures. Do you want me to stop sharing? I can't hear you. You might be muted. Um, yeah, and then can you give me permission to share so I can yep. share my screen? Okay, cool. Awesome. Let me move right. myself over here. Oops. Okay. All right. I think I'd be an expert at this by now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so here's Kat. You guys remember Kat from 21 Day Fix. She is in the cast um, on set with Autumn, as well as um, with Tanya Barron and then some guy. Anyway, so this is um, at the very beginning of Nine Week Control Freak. This is in the middle, and this is at the very end. So you can see, obviously, amazing progress. Um, this is Christina Delgado. She was actually, um, so what they, what they did was they filmed the program. They had three or four people in the cast on set, and then they also had a Zoom cast. And Christina Delgado was one of the um, people in the Zoom cast. And so this was her day one, and this was her last, um, I guess, day 45 or whatever. Yeah, I guess day 45. And so, I mean, check out those abs, like holy moly. And then this is Emily Fogger. If you guys remember, Emily Fogger had um, amazing progress from 80 Day Obsession. And um, so this was her we, her day one, and this was her day 45 picture from um, Nine Week Control Freaks. So super cool. And one thing that um, uh, they said was, you know, just to reiterate what Lindsay said, was that it's, um, you know, of course people are like, oh my gosh, Nine Week Control Freak. Like, I don't want to be a control freak, but you get to be control in control over your nutrition. You get to be in control over your fitness. You get to be in control over your mental health. And so it's like, because this, this year has been such a crazy hot mess for so many people, it's us taking back control over those areas of our lives that we've probably lost control in. So, um, I mean, these pictures are just, I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited. So anyway, I just wanted to share those with you guys. I think it's really important when we're talking, like to use verbiage, like, um, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to take back control of the things that I can control. Like the word freak, I think has that negative connotation, kind of like when 80 day obsession came out, they were like, Oh, I don't want to be obsessed, mm -hmm. but we, let's be real. We all want to feel in control. Like we don't necessarily want to have to control everything, but we want to feel like we have some control because when you don't feel like you can control what's going in and out of your mouth or what you're doing every day, what time you can drag your butt out of bed, that's just not a good feeling. So I think a really good talking point would be if you are someone who's been struggling with any of those things during this time, share it and share what you're doing to get out of the funk because that's what it's about. It's about controlling what you can control so you're no longer in that funk or in that dark space that some of us have been in for a little while. And I, I think, um, oh, Christy, will you make me the host again? <laughs> it won't let me share now. How do I do that? Click on the little three dots up by my picture. Oh. Yep. It's totally not in the right spot. And it says like make host or something. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. All right, so here's some post ideas. I started going over some of them and I really think it's great a great idea to share the transformations that Christy just shared. Like we don't, it doesn't have to be our transformation. We can get hyped up for the program by seeing what other people have done. Like I want that transformation. And this was the other thing I was thinking when Christy was talking, those transformations came in 45 days. Like, that's a month and a half, you guys. That is no time. So I think that's huge. Like, yes, we just went through nine months of what some of us would call hell. And in a month and a half, we can get our shit back together. I'm here for that. <laughs> you know, like that seems like no time compared to all the time we just spent in quarantine. Um, you could talk about a book that you've read recently that's really changed your perspective on something. 
Um, you could share some of the things that people are grateful for in our group or in our team page. You could share what you're buying on Small Business Saturday. You could share what you're buying on Black Friday. You could share how you're staying safe through the holiday season, all of those things. Um, in your stories, just like I have been nagging about for what feels like forever, storytelling has to happen. People want to hear your story. When you share it once a month, then you are only letting like 30 people hear your story. When you share it once every three days or once a week, then that gets multiplied by like 100, okay? You want as many people to hear your story as possible. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying let them hear you bitch and moan about what's been rough in life right now. I am saying share something that they can relate to and then say, I'm going to get control <laughs> and, and turn it into a positive thing, turn it into a learning thing, turn it into like one of the things that I realized when I was, you know, two years ago, really in that bad space, you don't talk about stuff until you've healed from it. Because once you've healed from it, you can actually like use it for its purpose. When you're in it, all you're doing is complaining. All you're doing is crying. You just want someone to, to listen. And people don't want to listen to that. They want to hear how you came out of it what you did to, to you know, overcome it, what you're doing to fix it or change it or get control back. That's what they want to hear because that's what they need. Um, stories from your childhood that have shaped the way you view food or working out or your money situation, something in your life that you've overcome. Like I just said, not just the stuff you're going through, but the stuff that you've overcome, that you've come out of. Maybe it's still a, a pain point. Maybe it's still hard, but this is how you cope kind of thing. How has that shaped you as a person? Why is coaching important for you? Why is Beachbody important for you? Why did you become a coach and how has your life changed since doing that? Why are your challenge groups important to you? Why did you join one in the first place and why do you keep, keep signing up for one each month? How has your life changed because of this right here? What control do you have today that you didn't have six years ago before you started and what control are you going to gain back now that you're starting this new program? How have your opinions of others changed or how have the uh, opinions that other people have about you changed your mind? Do they even impact you anymore or at least as much? Brainstorm, write down a bunch of stuff, take ideas from other coaches, don't copy their posts, but look at them and then figure out a way to take that message and, ta and take one of your stories and turn it into the same thing. Now, I've got three pre-written posts for you. I would highly recommend that you make these your own and use your own verbiage, use your own voice. Like I talk so different than some other, some of other coaches, which is good. That makes me me. And when I copy a post from someone, then it sounds very much like it's not my words, but if I copy it and tweak it a little bit, then it's, then it's mine. You know, my voice is shining through and people know, oh, Beachbody didn't just give every single coach that post to share <laughs> because there are companies, you know, there are companies that do that. And when you see them, you roll your eyes. Don't be the reason someone rolls their eyes. So here's one. Ah, Thanksgiving break. I think teachers and moms across the world are rejoicing right now because just like everything else in 2020, this week is going to look a little bit different, but it's still a time to celebrate and we are thankful. We didn't host a free gratitude group. That is totally up to you if you want to do something between now and Thanksgiving or you want to do something between now and December. I didn't want to overwhelm. We were doing the flash sale and we're doing this launch. I didn't want to add one more thing to the plate. So instead, I, I just skipped that. You could easily share one thing you're thankful for and then ask someone what they're thankful for. You could put your, emo your favorite Thanksgiving emojis in the post and have them share theirs in their comment. Here's another idea. Are you doing any Black Friday shopping? Talk about how Black Friday used to make you anxious because you couldn't afford something. This is such an amazing opportunity to talk about income. Or that you didn't like to overspend on Black Friday, which sometimes when you're in a sales situation, it's very easy to put a bunch of stuff in your cart that you don't need. Or some other money fear. What is on your wish list this year? I could use some ideas. Um, 
talk about the fact that you're shopping from home to, you know, to avoid the being out in public with all these people. And then talk about the fact that you love that you can work out from home for the same reason. Ricky sometimes works out at the hospital. And when he does, he has to wear a mask the whole time. And he was just telling me the other day how he can tell when he's been, been running at the hospital and wearing his mask and how harder, how much harder that is for him and how even later in the day, he's more physically tired, like ready for bed at an earlier time. Not because he exhausted himself in his workout, but because he couldn't breathe as well during his workout because of the mask. So use these things, okay? His dad actually said the same thing. He, his dad swims. So when he's in the pool, he obviously doesn't wear his mask. But he said, if I really push myself in the pool and then I get out, I have to immediately put my mask on, I can tell. As soon as the mask goes on, I can tell that I worked really hard and the mask is hurting my breathing. And here's the last one. This one's a little bit bigger, but I really like this one. Did you know that about 50 million people start a health and fitness, fitness journey on January 1st? But January 1st is just like any other day of the year. So you have to decide. You just have to start. You just have to make the next right decision for your body. You just have to get a little bit of control. Why not now? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to miss out on your holiday foods. You can have your pumpkin pie. You can have your glass of wine or your eggnog. But you have to be committed to make a change. You have to want it. A willingness to say yes to feeling better, to fueling your body, to moving your body. And the best part, you don't have to do it alone. We will be here every step of the way. And our community is here. So what are you waiting for? Shoot me a message if you're ready. By the way, guys, if you're not sharing the little messages that you send back and forth with your friends in the morning that work out with you, why not? Every day I text with Jen and every day I text with Christy and a lot of days I text with Jackie and other people as well. I, I've started sharing those little messages back and forth. I'm not sharing their names or anything. People don't have to know their coaches, but they have, and, and even if they did, that'd be fine. They're getting my butt out of bed some mornings. Christy's got me doing a program. I haven't, I'm going to be honest, I haven't done a program in a while since I finished Bar Blend. I was just hopping on the Peloton and picking a, a Beyonce workout or something on the Peloton. I wasn't doing any weights or anything. The other day she got me doing ALO and I'm falling in love with it and I'm excited to have 20 pound dumbbells in my hands again after using two pounds for so long with Bar Blend. So share that with the world. All right. Share the encouragement, share the failure too. It's okay. There are days when we wake up and we just, we don't have it in us. It's okay. You wake up the next day and you do it the next day. You just don't let that one moment become like dictating the rest of your month or your week or your day even. All right. Are there any questions about the program? Um, any questions about anything at all? Just a reminder about if you are um, up for renewal for your BOD, make sure that you cancel your BOD and purchase the challenge pack. It's going to be so much more, um, so much more cost effective if you do it like that. Like my BOD is up um, December 3rd, so I'm actually going to cancel it. And then I actually have, you know, free workout links that I can use um, for those four or five days before I can actually purchase nine week control freak. So I'm going to purchase a full blown challenge pack because my Shakeology ships, um, mid December. So I'll cancel that. I'll cancel bod and then I'll just buy a, a full blown challenge pack and I'll be $200 rather than 99 for my bod 99 for Shakeology and then whatever it costs for an accessory bundle. So I'll save a lot more money that way. So just, if you're up for renewal within at least the next month, cancel BOD and then purchase um, a challenge pack for um, MBF to save, save yourself some money. That's a good point. I just actually um, put that on my to-do list for tomorrow to check my subscription so that I can do the same thing. Very good. All right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I am not having a call on Sunday because I know I know most of us aren't traveling, but it is family time right before we go back to work after a holiday. And I didn't want, I wanted you to just enjoy it. So I feel like this is a year when we need to not necessarily think about um, <laughs> what we can get. Like, it's not that, I, I think some of us are in the mindset and I found myself there. I had to pull back a little bit. Like, 
it's 2020. I'm going to get whatever, like whatever makes me happy. I'm going to get the Mickey Mouse shaped snowman for the front yard and I'm going to get this and I'm going to get that. And it's not about making sure that you get whatever you want because it's 2020. It's about appreciating everything you have because it's 2020 and dang has 2020 put a lot in perspective. So I want you all to enjoy Sunday evening with your family, even if it's just curled up on the couch, looking at your Christmas tree or watching a movie or playing a board game. I love you and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I am super thankful for you. Super thankful for you too and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night.